Hi, everybody. Welcome to Satine Harlow's Sashay Away Shack, sponsored by Evo, where your weekly recap show of Drag War Cycle 4 at Voyeur Nightclub Philadelphia, hosted by Mimi I'm First. <laughs> Hi, girl. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another week. Tonight's challenge, I have to say, was a lot of fun. Basically, all of the girls were grouped together. They had to do duets as well as group challenges. The group challenges were numbers of famous boy bands, which I found interesting because half of these bitches look like men, which I can't really say anything because when I did this originally, I was in the bottom because it was my team and I completely fucked it up. So all the girls did better than I did. I personally thought the groups were fantastic tonight. Everybody did a really, really great job. The duets, some of the numbers were a little iffy. Some of the duets I thought were absolutely fabulous. Lady Fahrenheit and Lasagna Entree were amazing. That was exactly what I would expect from Hey, yeah, how's it going? Uh, here in Philadelphia, drinking some, you know, traditional nectar of the night. I'll tell you that much. Say, I gotta ask you something. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what's with all these, uh, these girl gals around here? They kind of look a little mannish. What would you say? I'm so glad I'm being interviewed. Uh, I, yeah, no, there's definitely a... Lorraine. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, yeah. Hi, yeah, hi. Hello, Philly, all the way from Michigan. Oh, my husband, Carl. Been out hanging out, you know, drinking the Philly nectar, you know. Got, you know this is a gay bar, right? Gay? Oh, gay. 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 Oh, gay. Gay bar? Gay. Same sex. Oh, see, that's what yeah. they call my son, Carl Jr. Yeah, that's what they call him over there at the high school in Michigan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little shame. Yeah, they got some real mannish looking boys there, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh. Get out. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh. Cheers. I am here with Miss Ariana Von Moi. How are you doing, my love? Better, better, much better. Better? You're good now that you can have a few cocktails in Mary? One. I'm a, 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 one cocktail, yes, but one and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> so, now that we are a few weeks into the competition, I want to know, in your opinion, who do you view as the front runner right now in the competition to win? The front runner? You know, honestly, I gotta say, even though she's not my girl, Dinah Shore. There's something about her, I don't, it's something about Dinah Shore. She's bringing it every week. She has stage presence. She delivers every week. And um, I think she's someone that the audience wants to see come back every week after back to back. And on the same wavelength, who do you feel is falling behind? You know, honestly, I really want uh, Alexiana Lee. I really want to put the fire under her butt because I really feel like she has a lot of potential, you know? We got to work on that bitch face, and we also have to work on her uh, confidence to know that she is worth being in the competition. That's very much what I'm saying. Alexiana is definitely, I, I feel like she's almost nervous every time she gets on the stage and yeah. I feel like it's reading to the audience. I mean, obviously you need to have that level of nervousness, but I, I feel know. like it's it's almost now turning into uh, being, it's it, not even, dis I mean, I'm a little disappointed because I know that she has it in her. I just want to see her be a little bit more prepared, right. I guess is what it comes down to. and. However, I think a front runner in this competition, I think tonight, she proved it, Miss Lasagna Entree. I said it from week one. That bitch is so funny right. and so smart. And I want to see her do more because I know that she's going to bring that versatility to the competition. And I think all these other bitches have to watch out for her. And those tits tonight, 
was what? so funny. What? So funny. She's not my girl, so I don't know who that is. Maybe it's still I love it. Can I be Cherry Pop for a day? Do <laughs> Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Bev, one of your mentors for Drag Wars Cycle 4. Hello. Shalom. 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 Th that's your people's native tongue. We're prepping for next week's challenge. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm curious. Yes. Tonight was a lot happening. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was sensory overload. Yeah, it was a lot. I want to know, out of all of the girls, who surpassed your expectations of the challenge this week? Um, I am so fucking proud of Dinah B. Thor. She has come such a long way in such a short period of time. And tonight, I think her being with Shanae was was perfect because it it kicked her up to the next level. And I feel like it made a lot of people who maybe weren't expecting a lot from her, maybe take her a little bit more. Take her a little, we'll, we'll fix that in editing. Take her a little bit more seriously. And I totally thought she killed it and I'm so proud of her for, for coming so far in such a short period of time. I agree with you. I think last week, the things that I may have said were left on the cutting room floor. But I, um, the worst? I don't know, I'm biased, but I wanted to see Dinah learn those words a little bit because she did something that I'm really, really known for. I'm a queen who always knows my words, especially when it's a spoken monologue and it's spoken dialogue. I always know my word. There was something missing. Like there wasn't that like fierceness and that energy. I think the problem was is that it was missing energy out of anything. But I have to say anything that I thought last week because she impersonated me, I thought it was awful. This week, I have to say she was incredible. Her and Shanae were such a great Hair, everything seems so fluid. Like they, deserve, they deserve to be in the top more than a few of the people that actually were in the top. I agree, but on that note, I want to know who do you think missed the mark this week? Um, I don't really want to throw my own girls under the bus, but I really. I want you to. I want you to throw them under the bus. Do it. Um, I really didn't get the concept for Jenna and Pissy's Batman thing, and I feel like they were trying to do something different, which I get and I respect, but it was just way out in left field, and it was like, really, Batman, that's where you went with that? Like, just throw on some fucking flannels, put on a mullet, and do like butch bull dyke shit with that if you're gonna be funny and you're gonna, I don't know. I, that one was the most disappointing for me because I feel like it had a lot of potential with those two doing it, and it was missed. I agree. I actually agree with you 100%. I think out of all of the groups, I think that that was the one that kind of missed the mark. I thought that they had such a great song and theme and a wide variety of dumb bullshit that they could have done for a number. I just kind of thought that it was a little awkward and... Maybe, in, in my opinion, it didn't necessarily come together and they spent, they planned their outfits and that was about it. But I also thought that they didn't even connect with the audience at all and they just connected with the pit crew boy. Yeah. Well, there's always next week. Let's hope. I'm here with the birthday girl herself, 52 yeah! years young. Make some noise, I brought my Ford. I said, I said make some noise because it makes you mad because I say it every week. Because there's no one outside of here. No one. They're there. She's talking. I'm talking to the voices in my head. Agreed. All right, so let's get shady. <laughs> okay, so what group do you think had the best look tonight? I want to know. What group do you honestly think cohesively had the best look. I think the best group tonight was definitely Bev and Brooklyn Ford. They totally killed it tonight. It was totally wicked. Yeah, um, I was talking about the non-boring performers. I was talking about the girls who competed in groups tonight. Which group do you think had the best look tonight? Um, I'm totally giving it to Team Shanae. Shanae, Farah, Jenna, and Ariel, they had a totally cohesive look. 
I was so into it. I was out of it. Um, I agree with you 100%. Those outfits were giving me Dana Kane on the Back to Basics Christina Aguilera tour. I thought that they, I'm so proud of them because I know that the four of them were going to work so well together. And can we just give honorable mention to fucking Farrah Mascara for killing that group number. Her with the donuts in her hands. It, uh, from two fat bitches, kudos you. Well done. The job. Her number made me hungry and it made me hungry for more. Yay! Also, what group do you felt had the best choreography tonight? I'm also gonna give it to Team Shanae. Shanae, Farah, Jenna, Ariel. I think they did fabulous. They had choreography, they were very successful, and they made me happy. They're telling me it's too long and I don't care. 16 minutes takes nine and a half hours to upload. I don't care. 16 uh, inches also takes nine and a half hours to upload. Yeah, yeah, I learned that from Jerry Pop. Little poppers, a little maximum impact, you're good. I am here with Miss Rachel Slurs. How are you doing, my love? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. So unfortunately, you had to sashay away this week. I did, yes, but you know, I've learned so much. I've learned so much, I've evolved so much as a queen. Can I just say, from I know we've only been doing this, what, three weeks now, four weeks? Your makeup has become so exceptional. I think that you have grown so much as a queen, and I'm very proud of you. I thought that you did an absolutely fabulous job. Thank you. Thank so, you. I want to know, because you had a chance to watch the entire show, out of all the girls tonight, who did you feel was the best duet and why? Wow, that's a tough one. Um, I will honestly say I think Shanae's and Dinah was a really good one because they did so well with playing off of the Celine Dion and they got into that character very well. Personally, I have to say the outfits oh my were God. so fantastic. When Shanae walked out in that white pantsuit. She was camel toe free. She was camel toe free, which usually, uh, Celine, it's a little iffy. Uh, she's got a meaty tuck. Uh, I thought that was absolutely fabulous. The only thing I wanted to see was Dinah in, like, one of those Donna Karen looking, like, shawls. Um, that was all I wanted to see. I thought that was fabulous. And as far as the group numbers, what was your favorite? My, I believe my group number was the favorite. Um, it was Jackson 5, but... The other two numbers were extreme boy bands who expected choreography. I'm, I guess I'm partial to mine, but with mine I was able to have more fun with it because it's not expected to have choreography. So we just soul trained everything and Team Pissy tonight was amazing. It was fantastic. I think obviously coming from someone that does a lot of comedy, I thought that number was fabulous. I love the tacky Soul Train choreo. I thought it was absolutely great. You all of you looked fantastic with the red and the gold. I loved it. Now I'm curious because you are eliminated. Now you can kind of throw some shade. I want to know. Anyway, I throw some shade every time. Well, I mean, it's what we do. So out of the bottom three, which is Miss Pissy Miles, Miss Alexiana and Miss Kara, who do you think should sashay away next week and why? I don't think any of them should. I've had enough, get out. I'm here with Miss Lasagna Entree, your weekly challenge winner! Yeah, you're a winner! Um, I'm a winner! So tell me about tonight. Tell me about your challenge and what you had to do. Oh my god, okay, so we had to take an- Sorry, I'm gonna rest it on your tits. That's all right, that's what they're there for. Anyway, tonight I had to do a performance to an iconic pop song by two females. Mine was Me Against the Music by Britney Spears and Madonna, and I got to perform- Yeah, me too, I love it. 
I got to perform with Lady Fahrenheit and it was absolutely a dream. I think that our minds work so well together and we just had so much fun working on it and we just knew if we had a great time with it, it would turn out well. And it was awesome. So here's what I want to know. Out of all the girls in the bottom, we're, a, we're getting kind of to the halfway mark. We're kind of getting there out of all the girls, because you're in the top, bitch. So basically, you're the creme de la creme. Or the ben de la creme. You're one of them. No, your brows are covered properly. But I want to know, out of all the girls who are in the competition, whether they're in the bottom or not, who do you think is the weakest player in the competition and why? Ooh, I would need a lot more time to think about that. Well, that's exactly why I'm not giving you any. The weakest competitor. The weakest competitor. That you've seen in the past few weeks. Okay. And kind of fine tune okay. that tonight. Okay. And why? Got it. I would say that so far the weakest competitor, I would just have to say Alexiana Lee. She doesn't seem to be putting her all into it. Whereas I can say everybody else seems to be putting their all into the performance. Um... So I think, yeah, I think that would be, I would have to say Alexiana for me as the weakest competitor. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably going to agree with you on that one, only because I feel like there's a level of a disconnect. Yeah. Um, I feel kind of like she's not putting 100% into it, and that's, that's fine. I just, I want to see her give yeah. that 100%. But now that you're on the top this week, on the other side of the spectrum, who's the bitch that you are nervous to compete about? Like, who is who is the one girl that is here and you're nervous that she might take that crown from you, bitch? I'm going to have to say Lady Fahrenheit and Pissy Miles. But working with Lady Fahrenheit was like working with... God, I don't like working with Madonna, like seriously. So that, I mean, yeah, I, I just have to say that. Bitch. She's the one to look out for. Yeah, bring your shit next week. Bring your shit. Because I'm terrified to see what she has planned. Oh, yeah. Bring your shit. Stay on the top of the game, bitch. I am here with Philadelphia's live singing sensation. And my sister, Miss Cleopatra, how are you doing, baby? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. So I want to know about tonight's show as a former contestant in the show and runner-up. Now that the girls are halfway through, what advice can you give to the girls that'll help them kind of sail through the competition? Maybe not sail, but give them a little bit of that confidence to get through this competition. This competition is actually set up very smart. It's designed to teach you how to be the best possible drag queen you can be. It teaches you promotion. It builds your wardrobe like no other look. You have to come up with two, sometimes three looks per week. For, for If you make it 14 weeks, that's almost 75 looks. I can't do math, I'm too busy drinking. It's fine. But it's okay. Um, and it also teaches you how to be a diverse performer. You know, there's lots of drag queens out there who are one-trick ponies. They do it good and they do it well. But sometimes that's not enough. Um, drag horse really stretches you, so the key is promote the fuck out of it, invite people, and always try to think of it to do better than yourself the next week. That's how I did it and I made it all the way to the finals. Yeah, I didn't, I dropped out. It's okay, you're still beautiful. Well, that was never the problem. You're just lazy. <laughs> it's true. It's because I ran out of the Adderall. Well, Obamacare is back, you know. Yes! Out of all of the girls tonight, out of all the performers, you're shady and I'm shady, so I want to know, who do you feel was the weakest link and why? I have multiple answers. One. I want one bitch who you went, ah, no, it's not working. Everyone in Philadelphia is gonna hate me, but Mr. Fahrenheit, girl, you're doing drag. Put on a body and stop doing shtick. Polish your look. I don't disagree. All right. And please, girls, stop wearing control top pantyhose. The line is awful. Awful. Buy dancer tights. Dancer tights. Dancer tights. Thank you. That was gonna be my read. If I see one more bitch 
without dancer tights, I'm going to scream. Dragon's investment, okay? Stop spending money on the cigarettes. Stop buying the booze. Stop being all hipstery and buy dancer tights. God damn it. Make some noise for Cleopatra. And I said make some noise to piss off Brooklyn Ford. Thank you so much for joining us this week and watching Satine Sashay Away Shack. We'll see you next week. Make sure you bitches subscribe. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, girl.